what's up guys it's chrome today we're going to be doing something different i'm going to be doing a voice impression of one of my favorite characters well my favorite character of all in the how to train a dragon franchise is hiccup and yeah i'm going to be doing seven lines from him and from both how to train your dragon one and how to train your dragon two so those two movies seven lines from each one and then after that it's going to be like a bonus where it's going to be in the movie order for the set first seven lines of each one and then for some reason at the bonus i put how to train your dragon two up first and then how to train your dragon one i don't know what i was thinking when i put it in that order well in reverse order but i hope you guys enjoy it anyway and that bonus Basically, you'll see when when it when you see the word bonus pops up in uh, red. So, yeah, just wanted to let you know. And I do hope you guys enjoy this. So, I'm sorry if I have you cringing. Alright, let's get to the video, shall we? This is Burke. It's 12 days north of Hopeless and a few degrees south of freezing to death. It's located solidly on the Meriden of Misery. My village? And one word, sturdy. It's been here for seven generations, but every single building is new. We have fishing, hunting, and a charming view of the sunsets. The only problems are the pests. You see, most places have mice or mosquitoes. We have dragons. My name is Hiccup. Great name, I know, but it's not the worst. Parents believe a hideous name will frighten off gnomes and trolls, like our charming Viking demeanor wouldn't do any of that. That's Stoic the Vast, chief of the tribe. They say that when he was a baby, he popped off a dragon's head clean from its shoulders. Do I believe it? Yes, I do. Who, me? Nah, come on. I'm way too muscular for their taste. They wouldn't know what to do with all this. The meathead with attitude and interchangeable hands is Gobber. I've been his apprentice ever since I was little. Well, littler. You, sir, are playing a dangerous game. Keeping this much raw Vikingness contained? There will be consequences. Please, two minutes. I'll kill a dragon. My life will get infinitely better. I might even get a date. This is Burke. The best kept secret this side of, well, anywhere. Granted, it may not look like much, but this wet heap of rock packs more than a few surprises. Life here is amazing. Just not for the faint of heart. You see, where most folks enjoy hobbies like whittling or needlepoint, we Burkeans prefer a little something that we like to call dragon racing. Now, dragons used to be a bit of a problem, but that was five years ago. Now they've all moved in. And really, why wouldn't they? We have custom stables, all-you-can-eat feeding stations, a full-service dragon wash, even top-of-the-line fire prevention, if I do say so myself. He's down, and oh, it's ugly. Dragons and Vikings, enemies again. Locked in combat to the bitter... Ah. Toothless? You know that doesn't wash out. Uh, ho hold on. Wait just a minute. Come back here. You can't just say something like that and run off. You're my mother? I mean, what the... Do you... Do you grasp how insane it sounds? I have questions. Where have you been all this time? What have you been doing? They said you were dead. Everyone thinks that you've been eaten by... This is where you've been for 20 years? You've been rescuing them. I don't know. It's kind of... Hard to wrap my head around, to be frank. It's not every day you find out your mother is some kind of crazy, feral, vigilante dragon lady. 
What do you think, bud? You want to give this another shot? Toothless, it'll be fine. Oh, what? You want an apology? Is that why you're pouting, big baby boo? No. Get away from him. Go on, get out of here. Get away. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm not the chief that you wanted me to be. And I'm not the peacekeeper that I thought I was. I don't know. I was so afraid of becoming my dad, mostly because I thought I never could. How do you become someone that great, that brave, that selfless? I guess you could only try. A chief protects his own. We're going back. Hey, bud. It's me. It's me. I'm, I'm right here, bud. Come back to me. It wasn't your fault. They made you do it. You would never hurt him. You would never hurt me. Please, you are my best friend, bud. My best friend. This is what it takes to earn a dragon's loyalty. Let this end now. The Alpha protects them all. We can do this, you and me, as one. You never cease to amaze me, bud. Thank you. They're babies. They don't listen to anyone. Well, it's a good thing that I never listen. We get Toothless back and then kick Drago's and that thing. Still doing that one. That's hilarious. Come here, you. And we've killed thousands of them. They defend themselves. That's all. Dad, no. For once in your life, would you please just listen to me? Why couldn't I have killed that dragon when I found him in the woods? It would have been better for everyone. Oh, for the love of... I was a coward. I was weak. I, I wouldn't kill a dragon. Okay, whatever. I wouldn't. 300 years and I'm the first Viking who wouldn't kill a dragon. Alright, that was it for the voice impression of Pickup. I hope you guys liked the video. If so, don't be afraid to use the kunai and hit that um, thumbs up. And don't be afraid to comment down below on what you thought about this video and what if you want to see more and um, if you do want to see hiccup for a reaction that i'm trying to do for how to train your dragon 3 and subscribe to join the close maki clan to be notified of every video and stream coming from me and the content like this and various content it's your futuristic dragon ball z fighter chrome and i'll be back with a blast from the past see you folks later